Hey there! By the end of this lecture, you will have a simple Node.js Express app up and running on your computer with just 4 easy steps. The first step is to install Node.js and npm to your computer if you haven't already. So head over to nodejs.org website on the browser and download the LTS version of your operating system. In my case, Mac, the version is 16.15.0 at the time of this recording. Once it's downloaded into my downloads folder, I'm going to double click to install it. So click continue, continue, then agree and install. Then it may ask you to enter the admin password and you can see the installation was completed successfully message at the top. At this stage, I have not only installed node but also installed npm. The second step is to initialize our node.js project. To do that, I'm going to create a project folder called my-node.js-app on my desktop. Once the folder is created, I'm going to open it in my Visual Studio Code Editor and feel free to use your own favorite code editor. So file, open, then choose my node.js app from the desktop like so. The good news is Visual Studio Code comes with inbuilt terminal so I can do any command line operation inside here without leaving my code editor. So open up the terminal window, click terminal from the menu bar at the top and choose new terminal. Make sure you are in the correct project folder. As you can see, I'm in the my node.js app. Then type npm space init space hyphen y hit enter which will initialize our project by creating a package.json file that you can see here the third step is to install express which is one of the most popular and easy to use node.js web application frameworks to install express again make sure you are in the right project folder inside the terminal then run npm space install space express it will take a few seconds to complete the installation process. Once it's done, it has created one folder called node-modules and a file called package-lock.json. You can also see the installed version of Express inside the package.json file. So click on the package.json file from the project folder under dependencies object. You can see the newly installed Express NPM package with the version of 4.18.1 at the time of this recording. The last step is to create the index.js file which will be the starting point of our node.js app. Right click the project folder, choose new file index.js like so. In there I am going to do three things. First create an instance of the express server then create a home route with an HTTP get request. Finally, I am going to specify the port that we want our application to run in the local host. Okay, let's create an instance of the express server. So I am going to require the express package and store it in the constant called express. Constant space express equals require opening closing parenthesis type express inside quotes. Then instantiate the express object store it in an another constant called app const space app equals express opening closing parenthesis and semicolon now that the express object becomes available to use the next step is to create a home route using get request so app dot get opening closing parenthesis and semicolon this will take two arguments the first one is the route path in this case home url just forward slash inside the quotes like so the second argument is a callback arrow function with two parameters that are rec represents the request object and res represents the response object separated by a comma. Now when a user goes to this home route 
we want to show some text on the browser of course you can use html as well but for the sake of simplicity i just want to send some text to the browser to do this you need to invoke the send method on the response object with the text as an argument which will be showing on the browser when visiting the home route so res dot send opening closing parenthesis inside the quotes I'm going to say I will be shown on the browser and semicolon. I also want to console log some text so that I can see that message inside my terminal window when the app starts running. Console.log opening closing parenthesis inside the quotes. I'm going to say I will be shown on the terminal. Finally, let's invoke the listen method on the app object by adding the port number as an argument in my case 3000 that means our localhost url will be localhost colon 3000 you could use a different port number if you want but i'm going to stick with 3000 let's run the app go to the terminal window and make sure that you are in the right project folder then run node space index.js like so let's switch back to the browser and type localhost colon 3000 and we can see the text on the browser you can also see the console log message inside the terminal window nice we have successfully run our first node.js app in our computer at this point every time when you make any change in the code we need to kill the server and restart it again which can be painful to demonstrate that let's change the text then refresh the browser nothing happens because we need to manually restart the server i'm going to use Control c to kill the server and restart the server using node space index.js command again let's refresh the browser and you can see the new changes but it would be tedious to do that every single time which is what i'll be fixing in the next lecture i'll see you there